Can I tell a story? I, you've heard yeah, the story. Yeah, let's Please, tell please. A story oh, about, dude, I love this. This is, this is when I was friends with George. He was alive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and, and uh, I, I worked uh, at, my first job was a pet shop. So I was probably 15 years old, maybe 16 at the most, something on that lines. And um, I used to work uh, from 10 in the morning till six o'clock. Uh, it was my shift at the pet shop, right? So I worked with a guy named Dennis Rutowski and his mom, we used to always joke around and say that she had the bat line to God because she mm. was like super, uh, not only was she super religious, God wise, uh, very biblical, everything, but she also was kind of like, um, you know, she was a psychic as well. So she would predict things. She would, wow. you know, all these types of things. And we always said that she was a wonderful lady. You know, you know, they the whole family was wonderful. Yeah. But anyways, so one night um, I lived in the basement of my mom's house. I had a snake room in the basement, and then I had my my bedroom was in the basement. Weirdly enough, I don't know why my stepdad did this when I moved downstairs, but he built the room at the opposite end from where the stairs were. So you'd have to go down the stairs, go across the basement into my room, mm. okay? And I had a lot of weird experiences growing up in my basement. Yeah. Lots of weird things happened right, in that right. basement. A uh, little, nothing crazy, but certainly parents normal ish for you kids. told me some crazy yeah, stuff yeah there was some pretty crazy stuff but this particular kid was the the most crazy so again 15 16 years old it's it's like uh you know it, it, it started about one o'clock in the morning and uh uh i was you know just literally in my room and and uh or, or no i take that back let me back up so my room wasn't very big so there was a, a a lazy boy chair right outside my door and i always i still to this day have a hard time falling asleep so i used to sit in that chair and my my music was there i couldn't fit my stereo in my room so i i would sit in that chair listen to music and i'd fall asleep and then i'd wake up and i would go into my room that's uh, that's almost every night so it's about one o'clock in the morning i'm sitting in the chair i'm falling asleep get woken up like that with like this black mass in my face. Now you gotta remember it's dark out, right? It's dark in this room. Uh, I'm in the main part of the basement, you know? So I get woken up like this and then it flutters away almost like a bat, like So immediately I'm thinking, what? you know, I get up obviously startled out of my mind. I run in my room, I slam the door and immediately I start uh, trying to justify what happened. Okay, yeah. I must've been dreaming. I was coming out of a dream and blah, 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 blah. So. I, uh, um, and again, this is before cell phones, you know, obviously yeah. I, there's no way to contact anybody. My, my mom and, and stepdad were the only people that lived at home at the time. My brother and sister had already moved out. Yeah. And so, uh, so within like a minute or two, all of a sudden I start hearing banging on the, the outside of my walls of the room. Oh, like, like literally like not like, like in the house or outside no, of like the in, house, in, in, in the, bedroom, the basement, the in, in the, the basement, basement, the bedroom walls are, oh, yeah, 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 around yeah. the thing. What and we're talking like, like fuck? all over, like crush, crush, boom, 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 boom. And, uh, and, and, and weirdly enough, I literally had a crucifix that was hanging on my door because I was so afraid of the basement and stuff like that. Damn. And so I hear this banging, banging, banging. And so, uh, again, you know, you know, this is the part that makes this experience so weird is it goes on for about three hours. Okay. And so I'm just huddled in bed, freaking out. I can't open the door and run across the, the basement to the it's stairs. It's a fucking far run. Yeah. I mean, you, I mean, you feel <laughs> like you're going to die, you know I mean? And so my mom wakes up in the morning, uh, to go to work and I hear her get up. I hear, you know, the water running and stuff like that. And so I scream, I'm like, mom, she turns on the light, she walks down the stairs. I then open my door, run to her. And I tell her this story. I'm sure she's thinking I'm just whatever. She's like, oh, it's okay. So I go upstairs and, and I, I literally sleep on the couch, you know, cause I'm like tired. I've got to work at 10, you know, so on like that. So, um, so, uh, uh, I go to sleep. She goes to work. My, my dad, you know, my stepdad wakes up. I didn't even see him, but he goes to work. Uh, I go into the pet vendor, my, my pet shop. Mm -hmm. Dennis comes up to me and he goes, dude, are you okay? And I go, why? She goes, my mom woke up at one o'clock in the morning and prayed for you all night. She said you were under attack. Then to make it even what? more crazy, what? then to make it even more crazy, I go home that night and at dinner, my dad is mad at me. He goes, man, I was up half the night with all the noise you were causing down there. You got to stop doing that. So at that point, it was like, oh, I would have lost it's my not mind. Like I you're lost just my hearing shit it, yeah. Oh, yeah holy God. shit! Yeah, my dad heard it. The the, the psychic the chick, psychic the psychic chick, chick stays up prayers. and prays with for me all night. That's the real crazy gosh. part. So, um, like yeah. honestly, like at that point, I would have completely believed in her power. 
Like, yeah. uh, like, like I would just like every Jesus time something like that would Christ. happen with me, I would just call her. Immediately. Well, doesn't like, that hey, kind of are... give you a little scare? Because don't you guys ever have like little gut instincts, like yeah. weird feelings about things? Sure. Uh, maybe th- she's just really in touch with hers sure. and, and just. Dude, because I definitely think there are it. real, what do they call them, like, uh, sensitive. mediums or sensitives sensitive. right. or whatever. Yeah. Some of them are full of shit, but sure. oh, yeah. there, there's others yeah. that I, I, believe I believe in that real shit. I believe real ones, though. 100%, sure. man. That is so scary, yeah. Brian. Yeah, so I've had tons of those little weird experiences. Little but, weird, that's... But, but that's that, a, was that was crazy. Yeah, that one was the one that was corroborated by other outside sources. Um, and, and, yeah. uh, and that's what For made sure. that, I think probably the most significant paranormal. So was this thing. at the same time? Did you know George at that yeah, time? This, this was, yeah, I was hanging out almost every night. I think probably earlier that night I was at George's house, you know, so oh. who knows if George what if he was, was just planting these little demons in you guys, yeah. man, getting those guys to go could, bash his brother's head that, in. And so imagine steal that, a car. you know how you were saying George like to fuck with people and, yeah. and, if he was truly a spiritual being, yeah. what if he could, have you ever heard of like astral projection? Right. What if he um, could like astral project in a way to fuck well, with people really while he's not there? You know, I had never thought about this, but there was a book that, uh, that we were both reading at the time that talked about astral projection. Yeah. I, it was around the same time because wow. I was trying, I was really trying to, to do astral projection. I've right. done that, it. No, so, is that so have you, you ever done it? Full you've discre- told me that. You've full discretion. The only time I've ever heard about this was in the movie Insidious. Like when they, right, yeah, when they yeah, had yeah, done yeah. that part. Yeah. yeah. So is this? That was literally the only time I've ever heard about this. So honestly, yeah. like, like before you guys even brought this up, I'd always thought that was just a. Oh term no, they no. brought dude, up in that. Yeah. No, there's books and shit on it. Yeah, I swear, I've fucking I've done it, dude. Oh no, I, I, I for sure have. Yeah, I. Well, the thing I have notes and stuff because the day I did it and the day I woke up. And like got the next morning, I wrote everything down into my notepad. Man, you guys are in touch with your minds a lot well, better I than the, I am. I think the problem sure. with with astral projection, because like I said, there was this whole book that I was reading about it's it dangerous. way back in the day. It's, it's really it is dangerous because you can get lost. You can lose your soul. Yeah, you can lose. So just and not be able to, to clear back, it up. It's know. where uh, you would, an example. You're meditating, and you your spirit can almost leave your body behind, yes. and you can. I can explain. Uh, mm-hmm. It's out out of the out of body world. experience, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, like. Dude. Yeah. You I almost walk away from yeah. your body spiritually Liz, or whatever. Alex, this is insane, this by the way. Is, Alex no, I, a lot things. of the kids were into that shit back. I, I've uh, read a few things and, you know. This is my experience and how I did it. Um, so the, what we read was, oh, there's there's plenty of different ways to do it. But one of the ways that eventually I tried and worked for me was laying down in your bed. Okay. And let's say this is my bed. All right, you know, you have to lay vertically, all right, lay completely still. And I use the trick of having my leg hang off the bed, my right leg hang off the side of the bed, okay? So dangling. It's not touching the ground. It's floating in the Mm -hmm. air. It's dangling. But you also have to be laying head up, laying down, and lay completely still. And I'm saying you cannot move a finger. If you move a finger like this, if you're laying down and you go like this, you have to restart. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can't do anything. So what starts to happen and with me is you'll lay down and then your body starts to tingle, all right? It starts to tingle a lot and your brain is telling you move, move. I don't it's it's almost like your brain's like, "Can I still move?" Like, "Yeah. Please move your finger, move your arm." But you're fighting the will to move. And then also at the same time you're trying to focus on falling out of your body you're trying to focus on falling out of your body and it you kind of get the sensation because your legs hanging off the bed so you kind of feel like you're falling a little bit once you start to get more of the sensation of like tingling across your whole body and you eventually you get just lucky because we've tried it so many times and eventually literally all my friends in my friend group at the time we did it and we would tell our stories and our and where we traveled but eventually you would just rip out and it would just you would just feel like you just come out of your body and then all of a sudden you're just looking at yourself in your bed and then you're just like what the fuck like i'm not even in my body but i'm looking at my body and then you can just woof, and then you're out and then you're in the street and then you can just go wherever the fuck you want yeah yeah. And you're just flying, dude. Dude, it's that, yeah, so it's not weird. like you have to open a door and walk through a door. No, no I know what you mean. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. 
That's, it's, yeah, it's that's, ridiculous. Wow. And we have like I just that's that's like, insane to me. That's crazy. Because a lot of it, like me and like a lot of the kids too, like we're into meditation yeah. and to yeah. doing yeah. this kind of stuff, and it's really weird, like emptying your head and not thinking about anything. You know what I mean? And yeah. like then you like I well yeah you put I mean personally I would instead of thinking about anything my my whole focus was not moving yes. and tr literally trying to rip myself out of myself. Yeah. Yeah, no, there's a lot you should watch some video. It's there's a lot of shit about that. Yeah. Man, sure. honestly, yeah. after hearing all that, I don't think I want to watch videos. Yeah. I think dude, I think yeah. I think I'm safe in my bubble. It's scary, yeah. dude. <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't I don't want to. Cuz that is I'm horrifying like to me. I'm telling, to think to think yeah, that I'm you too could old for that shit that. now. Yeah. Yeah. Listen to yeah. this. I'm not when we were doing it, we read this thing and there was it was something like these beings they were called like these black masses that would uh, basically kill your soul. So they're hiding in the astral world is what we read. And we're like, what the fuck is that even mean? Right. I remember going to the mall, Lakeside Mall, astral projecting, super weird, right? This is the first time I did it. I went to Lakeside for some reason because I was. <laughs> that's Jordan's in there. Well, yeah, I was just well, the dude was trying honestly, to see you was ganking him some shit. <laughs> our, our friend group, we hung uh, out a lot around there. So yeah, we, like navigate exact, too. It was cruising yeah. chicks. I knew mind. where it was. Exactly. This Damn, is you where were spiritually we were. cruising chicks at the mall. So yeah. <laughs> so we were. I mean, kind of. I was in yeah, the mall, and I just remember seeing in uh where the bathrooms are by the food court in lakeside you know where i'm talking about have you ever been inside lakeside? it's been a long that's have closed down now lakeside for a while mall? right i have yeah, but yeah. Maybe, lakeside um, well just a so, virus so there's a oh yeah. yeah. lakeside yeah, i was thinking long, of uh ago, some, yeah. what is it called somerset oh okay. i don't know no somerset's been open but they're closed so because many. of corona yeah. as well yeah. then i don't somerset's know somerset's booming I don't know. You've, but yeah. I, honestly, I think you might have been the lakeside. You just don't remember. No, I've yeah. been to lakeside. I've been to lakeside. I've been to lakeside. So there's, yeah. there's a hallway like that that leads to the bathrooms over here. And I remember I was floating there, and then there was like a this just so pitch black there. But it was like dragging me towards it. Like I couldn't snap out of it. And then I realized, I thought to myself, oh, fuck. I read about the black masses and then I fought away and then I ripped myself away and like got out of there. But I wonder if like that's how you die is you just fade because you black. go into it and then it kills you and then you your human form doesn't have a soul anymore. So it just your body dies. you leave your body behind. Kind of like Damn that, that shit's crazy. At least, man. At least yeah. in the in that movie Insidious they kinda of made it into like a coma. Like, you know, like you got, yeah, like a coma. coma. Yeah, so exactly. Like exactly. So, so I wonder if like, it's, a, oh. if it's, if it's quite to that level or if it's maybe yeah. not even like, like for instance, like, um, you ever, I don't know. Yeah. Even though you meet a person, right. And it, it, it just, the person doesn't, doesn't, I don't know. They don't seem right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like almost, yeah. almost like they're, they're, they're so basic and generic that it's like incredibly boring and blah blah, blah. And, and, and and again i don't mean to be funny i just mean i just right. mean to say like 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 yeah. you, you just every now and then you'll meet a person that's just like that yeah i always sort of wonder like you know like 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 what could have made a person to be like this and i wonder if this has a lot to do with that like is this person is this one of those people who are just like almost like a zombie wandering the world what do they call them like a vampire you know, they H. just H. suck soul. the life right you out of you yeah, yeah, H. H. Exactly. can you pull up uh is astro projection real it is I just want. I just want to see what it says. I'm interested to uh, like actually, yeah, like because this yeah, is basically wow, the, dangerous, really scary. Yeah, it's real. I've done that shit. I don't care what I know. I just says. there's no scientific evidence that there's, there's uh, consciousness. a consciousness or a soul which separates from the the normal uh, neural, neural uh, activity or one uh, that can. Well, it's, well regardless, that, that's not a hundred percent true yeah, yeah. because I mean, technically yeah. that's what a coma is. Is is, is your your yeah? Your, they your, said fucking aliens aren't real. Look at the government just told us fucking aliens are real, but dude. And it's not even just me. My whole friend group did this. Oh, and, no, no. I knew, and I knew we'd multiple get together. Kids. Yeah, no, I know. And then we'd share our stories like, dude, I was here, I was here. And then we'd all have very similar experiences with the way we felt and with the way we moved and with the way we came out of ourselves. Yeah. We all shared the same experiences, similar experiences, not the same, similar experiences. And we, I don't know, we were, that's what we did. Oh, <laughs>